the um, function sort there for 7.6. And you were supposed to make some different piles. And I want to point out um, some things that you, you should have noticed. And then at the end of this, I want you to go back and look at all of those um, pieces of paper that you cut out and rearrange them into these three piles that we're going to talk about right now. You may have had more than three just a few minutes ago, but I want you just to um, put them into three. So at the top of your paper, can you write polynomials, um, power, and write exponential. We've basically looked at three types of functions this year, and those are the three we've looked at. So with polynomial functions, um, these would be examples of polynomials. f of x equals 5x squared plus 3x minus 1. Here's another one, f of x equals 8x to the third minus 5. Here's another one, f of x equals 2x plus 7. All of these are polynomials. Polynomials followed a couple rules. And a couple of the rules that we noticed were um, the exponent. In the exponent, you could not have a negative number, a letter, or a fraction. So no negative number, no letter, or no fraction. And you um, covered that earlier. In fact, you took a quiz on it. I believe it was in 7.1. When you have a polynomial, we should know the degree of it. And the, poly the degree of this one is 2. The degree of this one is 3. And the degree of this one is 1. And you should know how to do that. With polynomials, again, remember, you can't have a negative number. You can't have a letter or a variable. And you can't have a fraction. Those are all in the exponent, in the exponent. You can't have those things. So I'll put an uh, anti-sign around those, OK? So all of these are examples of polynomials. Exponent, let's jump. So that was polynomials. Let's jump to exponentials. So on your paper, can you draw a line underneath what we just did? And then can you write exponentials underneath that line? So exponentials. Exponentials look like this, f of x equals 3 to the x, f of x equals 2, 4 to the x, f of x equals negative 5, 2 to the x. You'll notice in exponentials, there is a letter, a variable, in the exponent. So exponentials are not polynomials. They are not polynomials because they have these letters in the exponents. They're called, these variables in the exponents, they're called exponentials. And on your, the sort that you just did, you, you found a bunch of exponentials. OK. Now, the very last one, then, can you draw a line underneath this? And this is where I'd like to spend most of my time, is as we talk about power functions. Power functions. So underneath that line, can you write power functions? Power functions can have um, fractions in the exponent. So for example f of x equals x to the 1 half. Here's another one. f of x 
equals x to the one third. And another one, f of x equals, let's say, um, x plus 2 to the 1 half. OK, so those all have fractions in the exponents. You can see them right here. And so those are not um, polynomials. Those are power functions. I'm going to write three more functions over here, and then I want you to graph them and match them. So f of x equals the cube root of x. f of x equals the square root of x plus 2 and f of x equals the square root of x. Now, when you put these in your calculator, you just put them in as a fraction. You can um, just do the, um, the caret button and then put in 1 half and, and so forth. Make sure you put parentheses around this. When you put this one in your calculator right here, this one's a little tricky and so is this one and this one when you put this one in to get to that cube root it is you hit the math button and you hit number four when you put this one in you should hit the um, the math button and the 3. And same thing for this one. I believe it's the math and the 3. There's also a shortcut on your, you can just hit second x squared for these also. OK, so take a second and type those in and see if you can figure out which ones match by looking at the graph. Go ahead and pause this right now. As soon as you think you have them matched up, then go ahead and hit play again for which goes with which. OK, the way they should have been matched up is this was the same as this, this one was the same as this, and this one was the same as that. So there's two ways we can write these. You can write them with a radical sign or with a fractional exponent. Let me show you what I mean here. So if we have f of x equals the square root of x. That means the same thing as f of x equals x to the 1 half. Square root really has a little 2 right there, but you don't see it. And that's where the bottom part comes here. If we had square root of x plus 1, that would mean the same thing as f of x equals x plus 1 to the 1 half. If we had square root of x minus 5, that would mean the same thing as x minus 5 to the 1 half. If we had f of x equals the square root of x plus the 3, where the plus 3 is outside, that would be the same as this. f of x equals x to the 1 half plus 3. You'll notice I didn't put it in parentheses. And when I say it, see what's underneath the radical here? And see how that's in parentheses? Underneath the radical, if there's more than one term, I put it in parentheses. There's not more than one term underneath the radical, so I didn't put it in parentheses. So taking the square root of something is the same as raising it to the 1 half. So the square root equals the 1 half power. Those mean the same thing.
okay, so when we go then and go a little bit further with this, if I had f of x equals the cube root of x, that means the same thing as f of x, x to the one-third. Remember on the previous one, I said there was a little 2 there that you can't see. That's where the 2 came from. Now on this one, you actually can see the 3, and that's where the 3 comes from. So if we have f of x equals the cube root of x plus 6, there are two terms underneath the radical. So I need to have parentheses here. f of x equals x plus 6 to the 1 third. And f of x equals the cube root of x minus 5. That would simply be f of x equals x to the 1 third minus 5. You see I didn't put parentheses because there's only one term underneath the radical. Not The minus 5 is not underneath the radical. That would continue then and we would do that with a fourth, with a fifth, and all that. But what you should have gotten from here is a cube root is the same thing as a one-third power. Okay? Okay, so now we know three different um, types of functions. We know polynomials. And you know that with polynomials, you have a degree. They have a degree. So they have a number in the exponent. And then we also have exponentials. And with exponentials, you know they have a variable or a letter in the exponent. And then we also have power functions. And power functions, you may think of as they have a radical or they have a fraction in the exponent. So now what I want you to do is I want you to think of these three types of functions. I want you to go back to your Act 1 activity, and I want you to reorder those into these three piles. As soon as you're done with that, then flag down Mr. Costi or myself, or some other adult in the room if there's anybody else in here, and show us the three piles. And then you're done with your notes. Okay? And then you'll go to your Act 2 activity. But to, before you go to your Act 2 activity, go back and reorder whatever you did into these three piles right here, these three types of functions. And then you'll be all set.